Okay, hopefully this sounds good, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to One Elimination Under Podcast, mm. the uh, the official podcast of of a simple life. So here we go, simple living. I'm with West Ferguson today. Hello, everyone. Yeah, and and I'm your uh, I'm your humble host, Davy the Hand. Don't ask me why it's Davy the Hand. Uh, it's a long story. But if you want to apply for a job, just go under our tab, Davy the Hand Jobs. All right, perfect, excellent. We have Wes today here. Uh, introduce yourself, Wes. Talk to everybody a little bit. I'm so excited to have you on. First of all, this is one of my really good friends. I've known him for a while, um, years really, and uh, he's just an inspiring individual, and he's a great spirit. So here we go. Take it away. What an amazing way to follow up. Um... No, David, you've been an amazing friend, um, and I'm really glad to be here because this is you expressing your journey for simplicity and knowledge and financial independence and everything else. And for me, it's the beginning of hopefully my podcast as well. So Western Truth, which is my brand, which people actually call me that nowadays, just as it's a lot longer than West, I think it makes them a little more comfortable to call me Western Truth. But what I'm seeking with Western Truth is to really bring people into a higher consciousness, right? Bring them into this better understanding of themselves and their purpose while they're here on this earth. Now, we don't just have one purpose, obviously. And it's like this big story arc of our lives that changes with different you know, additions to the equation. But if you understand what your passions are, if you understand what your intentions are, it makes it a lot easier to move forward in your life. So Western truth is kind of a guiding light towards this notion that there is a journey, but are you going to take a journey in the first place? Are you just gonna, are you gonna meamble around, meander around, excuse me, around this thing that's not a journey, around these constructs that are placed before you so that you can live a life, you know, for the machine. And I think, you know, you talk about minimalism, which are which comes underneath the spiritual aspect of what Western truth is. But minimalism does allow you to kind of come away from some of those aspects of the machine, those aspects of the government or of consumerism, and to look within yourself to see what's going on. That's, that's perfect. Now, you mentioned aspects of the machine and the government. I must say it is election day, everybody. By the yeah, way, it is November everyone, 8th. This is the day we're recording. I hope we all use our voice in whichever way we're going to use it. Of course. Absolutely. So make sure you do that. And I didn't, if I didn't mention this already, I'm sorry, uh, but this definitely di- ties into uh, to what West or in truth, is talking about. <laughs> and since this is One Elimination Under Podcast, the whole idea is to simplify your life, eliminating things that you don't need so that way you can achieve perfection uh, with what you are left with. Um, yes. So, you know, achieving a course, that old adage, less is more. But it's true, right? So what can we eliminate to add more to your life? And in Western Truth, I am so glad that you're on here to, to tell us all the ways that you can do that and escape the machine, quote unquote, yeah. and, and figure out your true purpose mm-hmm. for being here. Because that's what you want to do. Yes. And the machine has different forms, right? And you can talk about the government. That's one way. You can also even talk about a marriage. That's a part of the machine um, if you're not in it for the right reasons. There's a lot of, you know, it's a long, um, there's different formations of this machine based on your life. So we talk about elimination. So starting from minimum. I have enough fiber in my diet. All right. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Talk about the elimination of things or ideas or energies in your life. And what I have to go and talk about is my journey with minimalism and taking away color out of my wardrobe to think more about my imprint on the earth, right? Um, From coming, going into minimalism, I was able to sit in my car and listen to NPR and not be upset about the traffic going on around me because I wore black and because now my mindset was out of this, let me wear something that's going to make me look better for someone else. So moving further and deeper into minimalism, you can't get away from the spiritual aspects, this act of consciousness that you're performing every day to be a conscious individual, not of how you display yourself with your material objects, but how you display yourself in a way of energy when you're interacting with someone, the way that you're, when I'm talking to you right now. Um, 
and it's powerful. So for me, this next formation, this next stage of minimalism has been eliminating meaningless sex. So pornography and like hookup apps. I'm speechless. I need my sex. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, this is fantastic. And that's actually a perfect segue into what we we're going to talk about next. And actually, real quick, Western Truth was hitting on uh, me, first of all. No, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> he, was <hitting> on the, <laughs> he was hitting on the fact that, um, you know, when you go through your life and you're, you're focusing on this elimination of things and focusing your energy, uh, he actually does this every day. And I see this. In fact, we're doing this in a library right now, a very noisy library, I might add. You're probably hearing all sorts of ambient sounds in, in uh, where are we, L.A. Technical College? Yes. Is that where we're at? And it's awesome. I'm very appreciative of the two individuals that have made this possible because apparently you can't get in here just with one student. You need two students. <laughs> so it was interesting that uh, I, we accidentally picked up a, a second student today. We're here with Ish. Morning. <laughs> Morning. At 1.44 p.m., everybody. <laughs> it's okay. To, to his credit, though, we did wake up quite early. We, wor- we worked out today, didn't we? Yep. That was awesome. So, but yeah, so we have two students of the, uh, the L.A. Technical College here. So, very cool. But anyway, just to bring us back, Wes, when we were signing in here to, to get this room with Ish and, and me, um, it, when we finally got our sign, you know, that told us which room to go to and, and, and all that, he said, I, what, what did you say to her as she gave us the sign? I appreciate you, right? Didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I probably did. <laughs> yeah, he probably, he doesn't even remember it now. But Western truth, he is so alive in this idea of eliminating what is unnecessary to focus on what is necessary, and that being his energy, that he does this unconsciously. He doesn't even realize it. And it's a beautiful thing. People appreciate it, that I appreciate you. It's not just I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. It's cool. You know, you're using you, you're engaging their energy. Yeah, it's, I mean, it was an act of service that she committed, right? And Absolutely. she does it every day, but let's give her her due, her due appreciation. Mm-hmm. Totally. And it's a beautiful thing. And you don't do it in a joking manner. He's not, so he's, I, he's I not making like fun of them. I'm, like, I'm not going to, like, you know, um, can trigger podcasts. Are you steering from this elimination? No, of- no, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I just wanted to go ahead and... And mention that real quick. And I, I know oh, I can be a little... He's so, Davey's so kind. It's, it's he's true. doing. He has his own masterpiece of his life that he's constructing right now. Disaster piece. I'm sorry. Did you masterpiece. say... Masterpiece. Oh, yeah, masterpiece. All right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Law of attraction here, people. All right. Anyway. We're attracting masterpieces. <laughs> That's true. We are. Not disasters. <laughs> Thank you, Western Truth. <laughs> so, but going back. So, let's now dive in again to this elimination and you've eliminated sex and pornography from your life i yes to give a little background to the audience i have gone now without pornography for uh three to four months now three to four months and that's crazy if you kind of think about it in modern society I, I if i had to take a guess something like 90 percent of people probably look at porn and they probably have done it in the last three or four days yes and i believe that you know coming out of this once you're able to connect with the world differently it leaves you vulnerable and also like empowered to make deeper connections what so, getting rid of the exactly now did you ex- did when you first when did you get rid of pornography how long has it been um, it's been a while i think around the same time you have i know we talked about it before okay. this is just us putting it down on paper technically with this podcast so like july Mm-hmm. Really July. Okay. Did you, let me just ask you this real quick. Did you experience an uptick in emotionality and kind of emotional distress probably around month two a little bit? Because I know I did. I know I kind of like lost it, you know, with. Well, I'm an artist, so I'm constantly in distress. Fantastic. <laughs> I just, I just express it through a journal entry or express it through, you know, this connection. Yeah. Right. So no, definitely. Um, when you remove something like that that's so embedded in our system because sex is really everywhere Mm -hmm. when you kind of i wouldn't say shut off your attention span but when you redirect it towards seeing that this person in front of you right maybe that person on the video is actually a person and they have their own you know life and everything it really does change how you interact with them it makes you want to know who they are not just what they're displaying absolutely yeah and um, I notice, I notice now I have this 
more real direct connection with people. And that's just giving up pornography, you know. And definitely around the second month mark, I, I definitely felt it felt a little more connection to people. Yeah. And it's kind of scary for others. I, I noticed. And yes. And it was with everybody I was kind of interacting with. I was giving more of myself and, you know, and it was a little much. And I, I've since learned how to tone it back a little bit. Or I don't know if it's toning well, it back. I think just, that's beautiful. I think, no, it, I know what you're trying to say because we talked about it. Yeah. You, you know, this allocating certain energies for certain people, right? Not, not everyone needs to experience deviant 100%. Right? <laughs> no, they never should ever. <laughs> well, I do, and I like it. Oh, um, but <laughs> saucy. That, that, <laughs> come back in a couple episodes when we have special effects. <laughs> we would have done one there. So, <laughs> well, thank you, Wes. Well, yeah, in truth. So, <laughs> I feel like there are some people that don't need to really, you know, experience the full potential of who you are, um, and that's just to protect yourself. That's just what we do in this world. Huh. Right. Ish and I were kind of talking about this uh, this morning, actually. A little bit, right? You can confirm. Yeah. Confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, just talking about putting up a uh, wall sometimes. And, because there's 7 oh, billion people. I do it all the time. Yeah, you can't okay. make friends with them all, obviously. It's, it's crazy. And you got to protect your, your energies. I always say, if you literally, if you see me pulling a sheet over my head, like, you know, uh, run because sheet, because, because Western that means Truth has joined the KKK. I, mean, I, am, I, mean, I am done with <laughs> this conversation. A so. sheet over your head. Describe that. Well, it's before it's, we derail so, our own conversation. So it's anymore. a way of me closing my chakras. Okay. Like I'm not going to allow your energy to affect my energy because usually, right? There's some com- there's some back and forth. I'm not going to be a wall of which you know you're just your emotions are coming up against and they're rebounding. I want to interpret some of those, so I let some of those in. Just enough to be empathetic and to understand where you're coming from. Right. right? However, the wrong person who's not really mm. seen that there's a solution behind their issue, right? Because there's always a solution. It may take a little longer to get there, but there's always a solution. There's always a different way of thinking. Absolutely. For someone who's not open to that. That pivot point. Exactly. Different perspectives, yeah. I have to close my chakras. So usually... Because they aren't I, there yet. They aren't ready to learn. They aren't ready... And if it's hostile, then I I literally close them. And I pull that sheet over my head and I, you know, I make sure that I close the conversation politely. But it can be be detrimental. And this is a part of the elimination process, right? It's, there's a lot of pain kind of associated with this process of strengthening yourself. It's kind of like you're a hermit looking for your next house. Like you're in between, like you've grown and you don't have a shell. So you're kind of, you're in between until you find that next that next stage or in between stages and that's where I am right now so you find yourself vulnerable more intuitive and more perceptive of what's going on in people's lives because you're able to connect on a different level because you're you're more you're forced into the present moment more yeah because you're not it's more of a danger zone really also right because it's kind of like when you're riding a motorcycle when you're riding a motorcycle you're actually forced to be more in the present as a driver of that vehicle as opposed to driving a car where you just kind of nonchalantly do things you know Death can come at any moment. Mm. Risk is around you at always. So when you take yourself out of that shell, right, and you kind of throw mm. yourself in that journey in between where you are and where you want to be, you got to yes. step out. And it's kind of scary, you know, right? And you definitely got to be paying attention more and be present. Exactly. Um, so, and what kind of helps you with that energy? Again, let's get back. So the elimination of things. So we exactly. talked about eliminating pornography. and. And you've actually gone ahead and gone so far as to eliminate sex altogether. So I'm, so I'm celibate right now. You're celibate. Yes. And how long have you been celibate mm, for you? It's, it's been quite a long... It's been about 10 months. 10 months. not longer than that. All right. Wow. And really what happened... So now when I'm meeting someone, right? I don't care if it's a man or a woman. Mm-hmm. But usually... Okay, let's just go with my, who I'm interested in. When I'm... Let's say I'm 10 helping, months. That's longer than a gestation period. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wes... Sorry, I keep going. <laughs> it helps to refocus. So now when I'm looking at someone, like let's say I'm I'm talking to Davey across the counter. I could go into a really funny story about how I actually met Davey, but we'll <laughs> say that for another time. <laughs> um, so I'm looking at someone across the counter and I'm helping them at, you know, my place of work. It wasn't and at a brothel, everybody. Just <laughs> <laughs> like the way across the counter. Like, anyway. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> 
You would go there. See, this is like D at like 50% right now. I'm at 50%, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> We're not ludicrous speed yet. <laughs> um, no, when I'm meeting someone across the counter, trying to assist them, when, I'm see- when I see someone when I'm walking down the street, my first intention, because now that I'm out of this this mode of sex, right, this mode of let me go on Tinder, let me go on Grindr, um, I'm able to. I know when I get speechless too. Whenever I bring up dating apps, dating, quote unquote, <laughs> I'm, I'm able to basically understand that they're a person and connect with them on this deeper level. I'm not looking at them as my next, you know, my next victim or my or <laughs> or, or, or my next conquest. I'm right. looking at them as well. Okay, this person is a person who's going through their life and the vibrations of their life. Exactly. So that's great, and that alone can help you in your next step because it's like, oh, we can work together as a team. We have a, almost this Venn diagram of energies that go over. It changes the energy because the energy is not just physical now. Now the energy is spiritual, and it's a place of exactly. growth and understanding. And and hopefully they're a place kind of like. You know, obviously, we're not expecting everybody to have given up sex or or pornography, but just give up something to allocate that energy into a different way so that we can work together and you don't have to close off your chakras. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Everyone, and everyone does that differently. They do. Which is a beautiful thing, which is why you have a podcast about this. There we go. One elimination under podcast. Just thought I'd go ahead and throw that in there one more time. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, okay, so we've talked about eliminating pornography uh, sex. How long are you going to go for the no sex? Are you, are you going for gold? Are you going for two years? Are you going for five? I'm going for as long as necessary to get my goals done. I really have a list of goals that need to be completed. Awesome. And speaking of goals, one of mine is to have that not go on. And it is kind of going on and off. It's going away. It's all right. Um, But yeah, so that's fantastic. Now, what are some other things you want to tell our audience uh, about? With little time we have left, I think we have like three to five minutes left. So come on, lay it on us. Well, I think that there's... Butter us up. I think there's some amazing... (laughs) Um, there's some amazing relationships or correlations with, you know, depression and that being its own journey. And on my own podcast, I really want to document the journey that I'm on with my depression. It's something that you, if you have a chemical imbalance, if you know someone that does, it's a lifelong thing, you know, if, especially if you're trying yeah. to heal it the natural way through, um, through herbs, yeah. through remedies and through exercise. Not you know, 420 right? herbs, y'all. So, <laughs> um, well, that's necessary. I mean, that's not up to me to judge. That's true. But I really, there's this elaborate journey. So now that come I'm back not, for our segment on Weedness Days, where we <laughs> talk about marijuana and all the simple, amazing things it can do for you, one wonderful side effect at a time. So, <laughs> anyway, I didn't mean to derail you. There. I just, I just think it's beautiful that you you are healed right at some point you believe you're healed from this depression and it comes back every now and again because you know maybe you go through something i I, i'm raising my hand right now i experience it too i have chemical imbalances i mean there's been a lot of stuff in the media right now with men and and depression the cool thing is is that as i continue this journey towards healing Mm -hmm. now i get to look outside of myself almost and say you know i was depressed a couple years ago how did that affect my relationship so how am i going to mend those how will i mend myself so now i'm working back and focusing on West and making sure that I'm healthy and anything that I, you know, didn't put attention to while I was suppressed, I'm going to put attention to now and attribute time because now I need to heal this outside portion, this outside being, right? My environment, my relationships, and also how I portray myself to the world, my skin, my body. Those things aren't thought of while you're in depression, like while you're in a depressed state. Oh, absolutely, you're so, pretty much thinking of nothing while you're depressed. Yeah, or in a depressive state. Right. It's, ter- it's even worse than sadness because there's know, no future. It really it, doesn't. There's nothing like a future. Yeah, depression. Yeah, there's just, and you know, you need some amount of de- whether or not you know if you're listening right now, if you're spiritual, religious, whatever. I think we all can agree that if you do want to better your current situation, you have mm-hmm. to have some amount of hope, some amount of faith. Something to grab onto that isn't necessarily yours yet, but you just have to believe it's going to be yours in the future. Otherwise, why would you go on? Completely. Right? And so anyway, that's why I love talking with you, Western Truth, about all this. Because you have had these you know, battles, as we all have. And you understand what's necessary to drive forward. And what is necessary, again, is that energy that you've allocated for these purposes. So you've eliminated um, the energy taken up, pornography and sex. And uh, what... What, so what do you, what's your main focus right now? 
in my life. main now focus. even even past because you're obviously very very eloquent now in in these times i don't actually i've never known you to be not eloquent um <laughs> but you're very stable you know i didn't even know that you've had issues kind of necessarily with uh depressive episodes or whatever it's just not it's not even a part of your reality anymore, at least outwardly. Exactly. So you've done an, ex- right. an excellent job, so, again, allocating the energy. Shaping the reality and changing my perspective on yeah. things. So, right? so my main thing right now, yeah. my main goal, what, what I want my legacy to be is basically... Here we go. Here it is. All the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it, Western truth. This, this amazing sense of a journey on, of awareness and the fact that I may have started out depressed, not remembering parts of my childhood, understanding, you know, we all get hurt, we all have our struggles, we all have traumas. How do we come back from those traumas? How do we go from survivor, well, from victim to survivor to really just someone that doesn't even need to label themselves anymore? You just are. You're going to be. You're going to be successful. You're going, and you're, and what you're going to hear from me is that it's all possible because. I'm currently doing it. I'm changing my perspective. I'm changing things slowly, right? It's not perfect. I think I'm striving for excellence, not perfection. And what we really need to understand as a culture is that we're allowed to be a little imperfect, you know? So what I hope that people get from me as I continue my journey is that it can be done. And if you surround yourself with good things, if you attract the right things, it's totally possible and it is possible so blank is possible for you in this moment and taking the time to attract it to yourselves and to really mold yourself into something that's beautiful is um really what this lifetime's all about and then bestowing those gifts of beauty onto others that's great so that's awesome just an awareness of this is it yeah right oh you know there's no guarantee we don't even know why it is we're here so we might as well go ahead and give ourselves a purpose and if someone else hasn't given it to you yet then thankfully you're listening to this podcast here and you know that western truth is here to help you find yours so thank you so much for having me on davy i so appreciate it absolutely and what will be the name of your uh your podcast. Do you have a, an idea? An idea? Yet? I do. It's going to be Truthcast. I know oh, that's kind simple. Of, I like yeah, that. Truthcast. Yeah, Truthcast. I think it's amazing, and some really, truth. it'll yeah. work to cast a net to catch moments from life that bring us closer to personal truths. So, and I'm definitely going to have you on as well. And I already have the topic of conversation ready. Oh, did overcoming. You, should obstacles. we tease people or should we, should we <laughs> hold it away from them? The carrot, the stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm truly excited to be a part of Truthcast. So when can people expect your first Truthcast to be dropped? I'll be dropping it the week after this one's dropped. Boom! So, I love it. Yes. Making so goals. Setting dates and keeping myself accountable. That's perfect. Well, Western Truth, thank you so much for joining us today on One Elimination Under Podcast with your humble host, Davey the Hand, and our wonderful guest today, Ish. Let's give a big round of applause for Ish. Ish, clap yourself so we sound like there's more people here. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All Thank right. Thank you so much. Of I course. so appreciate it, Davey the Hand. Absolutely. See you guys, uh, I don't know, next time <laughs> on uh, when we're capping some pod. All right. <laughs> See ya.